Hi, South students, Ms. Mack here. Today it is time for mindfulness. Um, so this whole week we are going to practice going somewhere in our mindfulness. So I will talk about a place and your only job is to sit and try to imagine the place in your head. Every day I'll be asking a student where they wanna go, just randomly I'll pick a student that I see in the hall or wherever and ask where they wanna go and wherever they say they wanna go, I will make it up and we will go. So today I um, chose Amaya. Amaya is in Miss Roberts' class in third grade, and she did this with me last year. So I chose her first today to pick a place, and she wants to go to um, a museum, a museum with statues and crystals. So I decided that we will go to a make-believe museum. We'll go to a make-believe museum with things that kids really enjoy. So go ahead and get in your mindful body. Please look down or close your eyes for this one. If you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, that's fine, but just look down because we don't want to distract anyone else from their practice. And if we could just be quiet while we do this as well, so that again, we just don't distract um, other people from our practice. All right, let's start with a four, seven, eight breath. Now I want you all to imagine that it's a very special day and you are with all of your favorite friends and you're going to a child, a brand new children's museum that just opened up in Brighton here in town. You don't know anything about it, but you think it's going to be magical. No adults are allowed inside, only kids. As you walk in the door, there is a kid who greets you because there's also no adults working. It's all just kids. So a high school kid greets you. They welcome you in. They give you a piece of candy. As you walk in, you go into the first room. This first room is the bubble room. It has all the world's largest, smallest, coolest bubbles. There are bubbles in shapes of dinosaurs. There are giant bubbles you can climb into. You can even float to the ceiling in a giant bubble. There are little ones you can pop. You can make your own bubbles. They're everywhere. It feels as if you're swimming in bubbles. As you go through an opening, there's a door to another room. This room is the crystal and diamond room. As you walk in, all the lights turn off and there's crystals of all different colors, light blue, pink, green, all of them shining and there's diamonds sparkling. It lights up the entire room. Someone tells you to go ahead and have a seat. It's a very cushiony seat and it leans back and you look up and there's everything is shining, sparkling. Crystals are glowing. Diamonds are sparkling. You sit and you feel the seat beneath you. It's soft and furry. You take a deep breath. You get out of your seat to go to the next room. You push a button on the door and it opens up and down. Not to the side, but it, the top goes up, the bottom goes down, and you walk through. This next room is the statue room. It has the coolest statues. It has all our favorite Disney characters and statues, all the famous people we love, princesses and princes. It even has the donkey from Shrek as a statue. You can feel all the statues, and they feel so neat all made of wax. You walk through and you look at all your favorite Disney characters, all the famous people you adore. And then you go to the next room. 
The next room is the cloud room. This room has actual clouds. You can feel the water in the air. There's clouds everywhere. It's as if you're in the sky. You can sit on clouds. You can lay on clouds. You can jump from cloud to cloud. They float up, they float down, they float from side to side. You can even sit on a cloud and paddle to and fro, to and from, one side to the next. You stay here for a while. It's so nice. You feel the cool air because of all the mist and the water in the air. It feels cool and comfortable. The clouds are soft and cozy, so you stay here for a bit. Then you decide to go to the next room because it's lunchtime and the next room is the cafeteria. In this cafeteria, everyone who sits down gets their favorite food, favorite food you've ever had. As you sit down, your favorite food appears before you. Your friend next to you, they get their favorite food. Everyone around is getting their favorite dish put out. You eat, you taste the food in your mouth. So good, it's the best you've ever had. It's delicious. You eat and eat and you talk with your friends. You have so much fun. But now it's time to finish eating and go to one last room. This last room is the greatest hide and seek room there has ever been. The whole room is filled with little nooks and crannies that you can hide in, the best hiding spots there ever was. Now you get to play a giant game of hide and seek with all your friends. You find a cave, a little cave in the ground. You jump in the cave and you hide. They don't find you till the end. But now it's time to come back to class. You leave the greatest hide and seek room. You walk to the entrance. As you leave, the high school students give you more candy, your favorite candy. Somehow they know. You wave goodbye. You take your friends out and you come back to school. Take a deep breath. Think about school, what you need to focus on now, what you're gonna be doing, what's your mood, organize your thoughts, be ready. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.